Hello, friend, and welcome back to Decisive Campaigns from Warsaw to Paris. This episode is brought to you by Pumnarau, one of my Patreon supporters. With that said, let's get started. Um, yeah, one of the unfortunate things, well, let's actually uh, go to prefs here. Sound, sound. Let's turn. Both of them to 36. See if we hear anything. That we do. So that is good. I'll, I'll keep both of them there. So, <clears throat> all right, let's talk about strategy here because we finally um, are about to begin. So what we have is we have currently the third army and the third army in East Prussia, I would say is tasked with capturing Grodno and a mostly the Lützen division will be tasked with capturing Grodno, Białystok and potentially Brest, but it will be, it it's arguable whether they will get there at any rate they're also tasked with moving upon warsaw i don't think Madlin itself is worth any vps no so they will be going through here as well at the very least trying to get the graudens thorn and potentially trying to cut off these forces uh what we're looking at here is we have the army group north which not only is tasked with taking Gdynia, but I think also we're trying to fight our way through the Polish forces. And in conjunction with the army group South, which will... Let's just say that I want these guys to move up to the east of Lutz through here. And then this way make a stroke towards Warsaw together with these forces potentially cutting off all the forces that are out there but then they need the forces in here to basically at the very least get to Plok and potentially uh, take Visgorod from the north um, otherwise the army group south will have to do that I'm not hearing any sounds by the way all right had to fiddle with the sound there a little bit because I did not hear any music but I do think I fixed it now um, there will still be music, but I'll be trying to cut it down a little bit lower there. Um, anyway, the forces here, these guys are tasked with taking uh, Sosnovice and Krakow. Um, I think then I will let them swing north uh, and potentially south toward Przemysl and Lvov. But I will also have to take these objectives here and we'll see what the Polish movements are um, for where they are going to move. Uh, that will primarily be the 14th Army. Um, they will be tasked with going into this direction, at least swing towards Krakow, and then either heading down here or up here. It's one of the two. We'll have to, to see how that goes. At any rate, um, yeah, let's Let's uh, take the beam up too. Let's let's get started here up in the north. So we have these guys as well. Um, they right. So the first thing that I generally want to do, I don't want to do air strike. I want to do air recon. That seems to be out of the cards here. Mm, maybe because it's raining. Uh, these guys can do an air recon mission. I guess these guys can do that too. Let's just see because... Yeah, this is the recon unit. This is V slash R. I would assume that that R is for recon. We have 100 of the Heinz 126 as a recon plane, so... Um, 
let's do a recon mission down here. I don't know what the range for a recon mission is. Interesting that I'm getting very low recon on the lava forts anyway, but then pretty good recon there. Um, let's see how much depleted they are. They lost 42 of their action points on doing that reconnaissance. I would assume the distance is very important. And indeed now they can only do it real close. Fair enough. Like I said, I'm also still testing out this variant of the game. Uh, so let's actually take a look because apparently I cannot play any of these cards at the moment. This is a deck card. You cannot play it. Mm, okay, well, let's have... Because the way this game works is we have three parts of the division and then an infantry or an artillery part. So these guys have most of the artillery. 10.5, 15 centimeter. Whereas these guys have most of the small stuff. They might have 75 millimeters, but that's about it. So... Uh, this is your bread and butter infantry. Alright, so we know they have a bunch of forces there. And they're apparently also quite... Uh, stacked up here it will be unlikely for them to try and go through but I don't want to take too many risks so the group of Brandt they have both of these let's move them towards Lick Um, we might have a problem where these guys are moving in there and then try to attack this part of the 206th, which is weakened at the moment. But I would use these guys for bombardment here. And that does lower their readiness and entrenchment either way. So that is good. Now, what I'll be looking to do here we have some pretty bad movements going up here. have some cavalry. I would be surprised if that was all of it. Yeah, it, it's a it's a bigger cavalry than expected, but I cannot move the first any further anyway. Moving through the swamp does not seem very fruitful. Now what I do want to do is use part of the 61st to hold this while trying to slice south with the units from uh, Grupa Kempf. Let's try to get them on the road, which will probably provide them with the best movement. So these guys can then swing around here, potentially linking up much faster with an assault through this way. Whereas these guys, I mean, trying to fight your way through the Mloa forts does not seem like a good idea. I'd rather 
try to encircle it from this side and this side as well. So then these guys are potentially looking at getting another crossing through here. But it does mean I'll be using the 61st to go around to this area, whereas I'm use I will be using the 11th to defend. Um, in a pretty wide area here. Uh, but that I think that will be fine. Whereas the cavalry will try to get around this from the other side, I think. We probably have a way too big of a stack on this particular hex. I'm not quite sure whether units will get a penalty for being on top of each other. I think they do already get a, a penalty for that. Not only do they get penalties for attacking, but I believe they will also get penalties for being on a stack together. So let's move you a little bit further. So, I do have some additional flak. Let's move the flak over here. And this is heavier artillery for the actual third army. I think that artillery will be better put to good use amongst the first. So, I'll move them there. Meanwhile, this is just a recon. Let's move them a little bit further with the remaining points that they have. So, they're a bit closer and we'll be able to look at things a little bit better. Next, uh, let's use the border units, not only to get the help peninsula, but also basically I need the 207th to move upon Gdynia together with the group Eberhardt. Yeah, exactly. They, they obviously have something in there. Uh, I'm not surprised at that at all. Let's use these border troops to, to take this. Now, I would be surprised if I could use these in a strategic movement all the way out there. I need this. Yeah, I, I can. So we don't have to re any railroad, even though we. I guess we just fixed this. Well, it goes up here. Because the 10th Panzer Division is a reserve division, uh, reserve Panzer Division, because it wasn't finished yet. Um, I, I'm not surprised that I can't actually use it for this, but uh, okay. Well, oh, well. That is something. Hmm. Let's just start with the no with this here. So I generally like to do the easier parts first because then we'll have a little bit more information. I would not be surprised if they have something in uh, Novi Tomizel. Do we have airplanes? This is bombers. I need a recon unit. Are there any other recon units closer to Poznan? I don't think there are. It's unlikely. But I'm definitely looking at this as well. If I'm if I want to break through this, I will have to take a look at. Yeah. So there's no. There we have it. So, AP cost is 80. I mean, this was never going to be a very serious artillery blast, and it seems like these guys are entrenched. It is not worth it, I think, 
to try and do anything there. What I is, I think, worth it is to try and get around these guys through this way. There is no need, I think, to engage these guys all that necessarily if we... Uh, Personnel reshuffle, what does that do? Sometimes officers get a little comfortable with their current assignments and need some new challenges to perform to their potential. Reallocate command talent. Play this card to increase a unit's experience by 10 points. Does not work on air units. Um, let's see if that works on third panzer. Fitter from Balk appointed better officers and NCOs for the third panzer. XP is increased by 10 points. It does. Nice. So, I'm also definitely looking out for where I can potentially play cards. Because I guess generally doing something like that is always worth it. Doing something like haste, communicate the urgency of the situation to the selected unit and squeeze some additional efforts from them. This will give me plus 40 action points for that particular unit. That's pretty good. I'm sure we'll be able to put it to good use. I would, I think, still play it on the 21st because the 28th is rather a holding division. More against these forces, while the 21st is going to move upon Graudens. Do they also get it? Yes, they do. That's good. I also have the I-10 Panzerabteilung over here. Although I would not expect to take Graudens itself. At any rate... This is in the woods. How bad are air attacks in the woods? 25%. So it's not beneficial to be launching an air attack there. Not at all. I don't think these guys need to really attack. Okay, so... As I mentioned, yeah, what I'll, I'll try to do with these guys is I will try to cross the Prozna over here. I really don't need to engage whatever forces are there, but I do have to be careful of my flank. Um, so I will cross the river, but I'll try to move towards this area, towards the east as much as possible with these guys. Also because I'm simply just looking to bypass these. There's no reason for me to engage at this moment. Mm. Indeed. Is there any recon around here? Increase offensive in by 25. There's no need for me to play that card right now. Get your gear and form up. Spur a unit back to fighting form through superior organization. Increase the readiness of 25. That also might be used later. To motivate a downtrodden unit. Play this card to increase the morale of unit by 25. I mean, those things are also pretty pretty reasonable. Let's just start here and go further in the south. Again, I, I like to start with the easier parts because that will give me more information. These Slovak units... I'll try to get around the third. Like this. Do I have a regular infantry? Yes, I do. Let's 
So let's move. I guess for our first turn we can't really do a whole lot except uh, I guess kind of like go for the breakout here. The 44th. You're part of these guys, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So, I don't really see any reason either again to really do a whole lot there. So, again, I'd, I'd rather just try and bypass enemy units. Light forest. Attacks are pretty reasonable in light forest. Just like light urban, it's also not that bad. But I think launching an air attack with these. Wow, seriously? We take that much damage against just nothing at all? Like, they have one anti-air, and I've taken so much Junkers 87 damage. That's insane. Uh, I know that uh, losses are very easy to get in a game like this, but to be taking those kind of losses from whatever slight anti-air they have around there, that's crazy. What the heck? Okay, I mean, obviously I'm testing out the game as well. But, but, uh... That seems to me very harsh to me. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, I'm a little bit taken aback by that. Uh... Huh. Well, one thing I am looking to do here is to move through this and cut them off. So already to just kind of exploit this gap and immediately move towards the river here maybe any of these crossings I mean I'll move or I'll use the 17th say as a, uh, a blocking detachment but Wow, I'm just, uh, yeah, still a bit taken aback there. Hmm. So... Even here, I'm probably best off well they have yet another unit because otherwise I was thinking about moving further but that will be challenging if they have even more um, moving here still looking oh wow okay
somehow I have the sensation that some of these attacks they are not going to be exceptionally effective They're actually doing fine. I mean, their readiness is slightly lower, but not overly so. Always costs 50. True question is, how well are these guys going to do against a cavalry? Well, let's just test it out. Um, okay, what? Why would you not be able to select? Oh, there we are, okay. Or do I want to get some of these in there as well? Both of these are the same. Let's just do it and see I just don't get why I cannot select this guys they have 50 left 70 so why would they not be able to attack like I have no clue why this Germania motorized infantry will not attack these Polish forces they have 70 action points and they can't do it and these guys have 50 action points but they can so, like, they're... And now I can select them? That's just weird. I took insane casualties again. At least very high casualties. In my book. I have a sensation that attacking this is just going to be very useless. And I'm just going to take lots of losses. For no real gain. Um, That, that is rather what it looks like to me. So I'll try to block their escape, which will not likely work. But we'll see how that goes. I'll just have engineers block this. I don't see them going in there and, and attacking, really. So with these guys going through there, I might just as well use these to try and exploit the, the, the breakthrough, so to say, in this area. Well, I'm using the 31st to hold.
over here. Try to get to that crossing. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that develops. Interesting. Oh, okay, so they do have a unit there. To see how we can advance there, although, of course, these are not real objectives. Any other. This increased morale by 25. I would say that generally my units are at high morale, but let's see if we can get it to 75. Let's just play on the 25th Panzer and let's see whether that works. And it does. So for you guys, we can ready a unit. Increase readiness by 25. Um, I would say most of my units are at full readiness, probably. But again, I wonder whether that can actually increase. So let's just play this card and see whether the first goes to 125 readiness. It does not. So readiness can never go above 100, just like it could not do that in the other game. Uh, this was not useful at all to use right now. And let's move you closer. Okay, so because there's no next unit button, or at least not as far as I am aware, I have to take a good look at whether I did move everything everywhere. Currently, I think I did, at least down here. So let's work our way towards this. Um, this is just a recon. What is the maximum recon you can get? 400 re points is needed for full info. Okay, so this artillery was quite useful in dealing with the 9th. to lower their readiness and things like that. I think the armored train is considered to be artillery. It is not.
Well, again here as well, I definitely want to make these guys weaker if I'm gonna attack them with anything. Um, how much does it cost to move you there? You can still attack. Uh, these guys will only attack with the 32nd. I think they can beat them. After the disaster. Seriously. Okay. That's fine. I can overstack a little bit if it makes them a bit weaker. So I will attack with the 20th mostly um, because the 20th is the one that already moved, whereas the second has not. They went in, in there. Well, another problem is this 15th. which also needs to be pushed. Really? All the way to 20? Oof. Well, I can attack with the recon. Will not do a whole lot. It's a really large number of units that they have there. It's near impossible to penetrate. Um, I mean, one thing, what if you move here? So they can, I think for the second, at least those parts, they can be attacked here. So I can push through with all of them. That doesn't matter. They're near defeated. So they... I mean, this is just artillery. So it should be quite possible. To get through there reasonably well. So this is seventy five sixty.
100. Now if one part moved down here, they would have to go down, 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 and then try to exit through here. I think that would already be challenging for them. And... Let's see if they actually get to attack these. Yes, they do. I think they can break them to move in here, which will then potentially block these guys off. I do admit this is not the most amazing way to do things. But I'm also quite rusty. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Uh, yeah. All right. As for the fiftieth, like there is no reason to try and engage the enemy in, in any crazy way here. Getting such a breakthrough like this is already tricky enough, but by splitting these forces, maybe things will go okay. And I will also try to get the these around. I would not be surprised to actually see something in there. Let's keep these as a blocking detachment, so to say. I want the pioneers up here also to try and prevent them from going anywhere. This is like the Königsberg garrison, yeah. All right, so there is still the matter of the 10th Panzer. Let's do a strategic transfer over here. I can't. Costs too much. Let's uh, only send the bigger part then. That's weird. Ah, now I can. Hmm. Maybe I made I made a little mistake there. That's okay. Right, I have my air forces somewhat close. If I can help it, because I will uh, decrease the points that they need either way I guess that's pretty much it for the first turn um, I will go through the enemy's turn and I will talk about what happened so uh, yeah let's uh, if we take a look at the map yeah there's not that much that has happened just yet indeed at least dance a corridor is Getting close quite soon. I'm threatening at least the 9th division here with both the 21st and this Panzer division. We'll see how that works. Again, I'm looking also at a bigger encirclement, of course, trying to move through down here with these guys and then these moving up. Um, hopefully on this side of, of Lutz, uh, that's uh, for sure, but we'll see how it goes. It definitely is not going as smoothly already as I might hope. Yeah, I do not see myself getting through there. I 
unfortunately. Actually, really poor down there. Right, well, like I said, I'll meet you back after the first turn. Okay, let's uh, take a look then. It's a clear weather turn. That's very nice. We did not get any victory points here. Um, one second though. One percent. Polish forces are lost. Are two percent. All right. So what happened? It is a bit hard to see. Uh, wait. The history. Uh, let's go over the battle. So. The attacker here, Poland, they used artillery on my forces at the 21st down here. I guess from across the river. Um, then again, artillery over here. They actually had quite a few losses, as you can see here. They had 20 of those cannons getting lost. We lost 100 infantry there. <laughs> they lost the majority of their artillery. Interesting. Again, artillery from the 30th, we lost 5 artillery, 50 men from the MG-34. They lost 20 cannons, I guess in counter-battery fire this is. Then they attacked with cavalry, losing 450 B, uh, 50 bar. And if we go back, the bar, so to say. Um, that's these guys with the machine guns, or uh, light machine guns, indeed. Uh, let's go back to that history. Next panel. Oh. All right, uh, let's just go over it. Okay, very quickly. So first is that one, then that artillery, then that artillery, then their cavalry attacked. They lost four hundred. We lost two hundred. Then they attacked with the other cavalry, where they lost 405 tanks. We lost 100. They attacked up here, um, interestingly enough, with their uh, forces. They lost 500. We lost 100. And that was uh, pretty much it. So, besides that, we can take a look at the minimap. They seem to have deployed quite a few forces up here. Let's get rid of that history screen. Um, quite a few forces up here. They're also blocking this, but um, it seems like the fourth infantry division that they have is trying to, to move back. Um, they've definitely moved back with the 15th, retreating back on Blomberg. Um, we're still somewhat poised to cut them off. Um, this red I guess has to do probably with the supplies. Um, although these guys still have 100, so I'm not 100% sure why that's red. I would have to check up on that. Um, okay, they apparently had a unit here trying to, to break out. I, I wonder how many supplies they would be getting. Um, the cavalry did retreat at least a bit here though. Um, there's also that there. So over here, some part of the 10th tried to retreat. Second Emergency Regiment. So that must be some of those troops that they got before. It's just a regular infantry. Okay. Fair enough. They also retreated here in the center a bit. But they're still pretty much blocking me very effectively there. Really have to see how this plays out also here. They have an armored train. I wonder how effective that will be at, at blocking me. Um, yeah, all very interesting indeed. Well, we'll continue in the next episode. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. This episode is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Dungeon Pastor, Thomas B. Marshall, Pumnarao, Mandingo, and Tomislav Trillin. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time, and bye-bye.